Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of my Invasion series. So today we are going to go down and see what is under our base here. So underneath here, roughly in this corner, I've been getting a mob that will spawn every once in a while. So there's got to be a cave under here. So I want to go down and figure out where it is, but I don't want to dig a hole in my base. So I'm going to start on the outside here. Uh, probably along the edge here work my way down and under and see what we can find I got torches I got concrete so we should be fine the Sun's going down it's probably the good time to go down here and do this um, and we're gonna put some concrete behind us here as we go down just so we don't have to worry about mobs spawning behind us I've got tons of torches here I'm hoping that we got more than enough and if we're smart about how we pull these blocks out, we shouldn't have to worry about falling stuff on us. So we're going to put concrete up here. Uh, let's put it... Let's just go like this, I think. we got our tiny torches. We don't have to worry about setting stuff on fire. So now we're just going to hit F7. Just so we can see where stuff's going to spawn. Now, tiny torches don't do as well as regular torches do for lighting stuff up. So they light a much smaller area. Um, however, um, I don't think we'll ever catch anything on fire down here, but... Okay. Now I'm going to stay at this level for a bit. One good thing about this, though, is we got lots of stone. I brought lots of torches, too. If we have to go back up and get more torches, we can do that. Okay, where am I now? Let's just zoom in. Okay, we're going to make a right turn here. Really hope we get lucky and uncover this really quickly. And I hope it's small. I've had bases that I've built and thought, oh, this is a perfect place for a base. And then all of a sudden mobs start spawning under me. I'm like, what the hell? And then all of a sudden it's like... Um, I dig down and find that I'm over a massive chasm. Alright, so he's got to be here somewhere. There's got to be something here. Okay, that's just a block falling. There it is. Oh my god. We got trees down here. It's like a whole underground biome. I can hear the fish up here. Let's make sure we have everything lit up behind us here. Holy crap, it's huge under here. See what I mean? Like, you never know if you're going to... I could just jump down, I guess, but without proper lighting. Yeah, see, he's been nerd pulling up here. Got a water fountain. Oh, maybe it's not that big. It kind of looks like it's big, but I don't think it is. So our dude was nerd pulling here. Let's see if we can get... Is that water down there? Okay, we're going to do this. Because I want to get where his nerd pull is. This is clay. Okay, here the... W is it just this water fountain? Oh, thank God for our jumping ability. Okay. Well, this, you know what? Once we get this laid out down here, this could be like a nice underground part to our base. Although we have to worry about other... Um, we have to worry about other caves nearby that could spawn mobs that could... Uh, dig our way into their, our base, so we don't want that to happen. Um, I think we brought enough torches, so we should be okay there. That's that done. Put it right on the tree, because why not? Put that there. Okay, it's that done. This is going to be, this is a lot easier than I thought. I thought I was going to have to come down here, fight some mobs. It's kind of a nice little underground garden. Get over here, light this bit up, and we're done. That part, that part, grab some seeds. Maybe we don't have any of those. 
no idea. And then one more here. And that's it. Oh wait, we got some stuff over there. That's in the center. So that must have fallen from up there. Now I don't see any... There might be something up there. I'll have to go up that way. Can we get up? Uh, probably not. Let's go this way. Can we get back up there? Sure. We could have. Just didn't force it enough. No, we're hitting our head on. Oh, that we're hitting our head on. What is that? We shouldn't hit our head on anything. Maybe it's this. Yep, uh, nope. That's not what it was. Maybe we just don't have the juice. We gotta knock this one out. There we go. I think that was what it was. Alright, what's up here? A whole lot of nothing, I think. Yep, a whole lot of nothing. Alright, well, that's the problem one solved. That's a lot easier than it was going to be, I thought. I thought for sure it was going to be really hard to get all this stuff done. Alright, well, uh, that's that simple thing. Uh, at least we know if we need resources, we can come down here and get them. Oh, that's going to be water up there, so better be careful. I have no idea what those bricks are. That's just stone. You get these weird... Um, like this stuff here and then you break it and it's just stone so i have no idea what the deal is with that some kind of glitch all right well we can get out of here now i thought that was going to be more of an adventure i thought we were going to have to fight mobs we are going to cover this back up though just going to cover it up with this all right well we got to figure out what we're going to do today Let's put this stuff away and we'll see what we're going to do. Okay guys, well we got our first miners. Time for barbed wire. Great. That's just freaking great. Ah, really? Starting to get this stocked up though. Um, gonna need more space. Let's pull the canola out. I don't think we'll need it in there. I'll pull these out. And what else can we yank out of here that we don't really need in here? Um, got lots of fish. Let's pull the fish out. Put this stuff in here for now. Wow, that guy just... I was wondering what... I thought that was Herobrine running around out there, but uh, it was not. So we need to start worrying about our base because they're going to dig right through. Um... All right, let's start focusing on getting more defenses up and running. Our barbed wire here, uh, where is it? Right here. We got six. Um, do we have any more in here? Nope. Let's empty a few things out of here, though. Let's keep this filling up. Just get to empty the junk out. Ah, God, I was hoping it was going to take a little longer than this, but nope. All right, let's go drop these down outside we have to be careful now we, where we build our base so he came in through here so let's do this and then let's put this torch down here and this one down here not close enough okay so I don't know where that guy came from but we definitely need to get a lot more torches out here now just to make this whole area safe. I don't want people spawning anywhere near me. Oh, we made it. Nice. So let's shoot these guys. Let's get the turrets up too. Yeah, they're coming with pickaxes now. 
So we got to be worried about that. They had weapons the last time around on the first uh, upgrade, but now they've got pickaxes. So let's get our turrets up. We've got one turret. Um, we're generally on this side of the base, so... Ah, man. Came a little soon. We're over here, I think. Yeah, we want this one. Probably going to get the potato turret up and running anyway, just so we've got the two turrets running. I got these ready to set up to be shot out. Uh, let's grab a stack of sticks. We don't need more than that for power, I don't think. Um, and then potatoes. They're growing really slow in here. So we don't have a lot. Uh, let's just grab them out of here. All right, let's get up in the roof. We got to make sure that these guys don't be, don't smash into our base anymore. So did I bring concrete? I did not. We're going to build a little edge with concrete just out from the base. Uh, I want it, I don't want these, these turrets to be obstructed by the walls. So let's grab our concrete. And we're just going to set it, um, I think right here, because we spend most of our time in the back half of this base. So I think if we put it right here, like that, and then let's put our um, turret bases here and here. Put our furnace right here. I know if they climb up here, they'll be able to get to us, but that's fine. Once the turrets are up, they'll be shooting these guys anyway. So we want the good turret on the front, the potato turret back here. Uh, we want to put a torch on you. We want to put these guys in here. And then in our depostable base, we want to put these guys. So we got full power. We should hear these turrets firing today, most likely. I'm going to reduce this to 12, just so they're firing at the same range. I don't want to waste ammo. We can avoid it. And that should at least handle the guys on this side. Now, we're going to need to make more turrets, so let's go do that now. Um, we need to cover the front of the base, like up there. So we're going to need two redstone. Um... I don't remember how to make this now. Two redstone. Uh, we need... And then I think it's just cobblestone, right? And wood? Pretty sure it's just cobble and wood at that point. Um, we got five cobble here. We should have more, I think, in here. Nope, not there. There's three cobblestone there. Going to need more than that, so I'll have to make some more. Uh, we need wood. Don't need a lot of wood, but we need some wood. I'm trying to, I mean, I could just, I mean, I'm just being really stingy with resources. Uh, just to kind of show you that you kind of have to be in this game. I mean, I don't really have to be, but you really should be. Okay, so we need one of these. Then we need more cobble. So let's make a bunch more. We got a bunch of, uh, I keep thinking it's in the center there. We got a bunch of this now. Going to probably have to find more clay at some point. Okay, so do that, and that. Jeez, I keep going to the center one. All right, we're going to make a few turrets, I think. Let's grab some more resources here. We got plenty of resources. I'm not really worried about that now. Um, so let's make, let's make two turrets. Two of these guys, and then we need to do... Two more with redstone. So this. And then we need to go one, two, three, four. This, this, and this. Yeah, of course. I wonder if we get extra turret materials out of that. I think we did. We can make another turret. Let's do it. Make three turrets. Why not? Oh, we didn't... Yeah, we got the two turrets plus the resources, so let's make another one. All right, we got lucky on that. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. All right, so we need, oops, I was gonna make, well, we might as well make it, <laughs> let's make four turrets, because why not? Oh, man. All right, we need two more redstone. Uh, then we're gonna need stones, we're gonna need to make power. Um, that's four turrets, so we're gonna need to make two more generators. So we'll do that. We got the materials now. It's not like I'm worried at this point. 
and these turrets will be up. They should just more than handle uh, the base here. So that's that. Now, um, I kind of remember how to make the uh, furnaces again here. So the great thing about these furnaces, these these turrets take very, very little power. So we need two furnaces, uh, four redstone, and ten iron. So we can make the furnaces, unless we've got, we picked up a couple, didn't we? We need two of these. We picked up, yeah, we picked up a couple, but we used one. So we'll have to make another one. And then we need four redstone. Okay, uh, we can make another one here. Oops, we need ten iron too. Let's get the iron. Uh, iron, iron, here we go. Got lots of resources now, so I'm not worried about this. Yeah, that guy, it was shocking. I didn't think he was going to break through the wall. I just heard this. I thought it, it sounded like somebody's foot running, or feet running around on, on uh, oops, on, um, on wood. Like, it just absolutely sounded like somebody running around on wood. What the hell is going on here? I'm trying to do things too fast, that's what the problem is. All right. So I think if a half a stack of wood each should be probably be enough, and I keep going to that center one. Keep doing it. Um, you know what? We got a ton of wood, so let's just uh, use it up here. We're gonna have a ton over here too, so let's just grab it. And yep. See, it's like uh, I love these things because they give you so much, so much resources. Okay, so we got these two two turrets guarding this part of the base. Should be more than enough. It should handle this whole area. And then we want to set up another turret uh, ring on this part of the base, I think. I'm going to put it on the outside. Right here on the corner. So we're going to do this. That, that, and that. Right? And then we're going to put our furnace generator here. Oh, we never made the bases. Ah, really? That's going to require some more redstone. Uh, we got redstone in here. I don't think we made any in that one, did we? No. Okay. So I think it's four redstone around a wood. Around wood. And then it's just wooden sticks, I think, around the base. I'm pretty sure. Gonna have to cut some wood here, I think. But let's grab. Um, might as well cut this stuff up. We have to empty these anyway, so. That's two, four. That should be enough, I think. Let's go chop it. Our chopping block's almost gone, too. Could just make another one. Okay, I'm hoping I remember how to do this correctly. I'm pretty sure I do. So we go two, 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 two around two of these, yep. And then this is just this. No. Um. Oops. There we go. Oh, it's cobblestone. Yeah, figures. Let's get that. Go to the right bin this time. Just need eight cobble. There we go. Gotta keep that on me. So that's just... Yeah, I should have remembered that. There we go. Now we got our bases. Wait, we need four. Oh, man. Another eight. Another eight. Yeah, we need more wood. And that should be enough. No, it won't be. We're we'll be short one here. Oh man. I, sorry guys, that guy's got that guy breaking through the walls got me flustered. I was like, what? I thought it was Herobrine or something. Snuck in somehow. Herobrine's been a jerk for the past little while. I thought for sure it was him. Alright, let's just use this one up. There's one. Two. And let's get this done. 
and we'll have plenty of base defense. Let's grab, these ones will probably be shooting a fair bit, so let's grab, doing that again. Two stacks for each. It really just depends on how well your base is lit up. But we'll at least definitely be getting, those miners definitely will die horribly at these turrets. Um, so we want to get these guys on here and here. We want to get this going in here and then in here and here. Leave it at 12. Shoot them at range and then we're going to put this guy. We don't really have to do this but we're going to put it back on there. Not that it matters. In case for some reason that turret corner blows up uh, at least we'll have still have some defenses. Okay. I was just about to say, at least we haven't seen any drones around here, but uh, me saying things like that usually gets me in trouble. So I try and stay quiet. Let's get our bases up. And our turrets. The thing about these turrets, though, is they're going to fire at fish, too. But that's fine. It'll keep this side nice and quiet. And this one. And that one. And that should power these guys up quite nicely. They got tons of power. They use very little power uh, per shot, so we don't really have to worry about that. Okay, so our base is defended by turrets now. We got some barbed wire down here. Um, should be okay. I mean, I really should put another turret over here, but I don't think we really need it. Um, these guys should pretty much be able to sweep that beach. So that's 12, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 3. So any mob that comes up along here, well, we're going to need to put another turret in here. Need to put another turret up here somewhere. I could just move one over, but we'll worry about that later. I don't think we need to put any more up right now. All right, that should keep us nice and quiet. All right, I'm going to do a few things around the base, and I'll be back in a second. All right, the sun's coming up on another beautiful day. Uh, so we don't have to worry about guys smashing into our base. We're going to cook some food here. Uh, we got the ability to make a few things now. And we're going to go by sort by hunger restored. We're going to make some chili because we can. Um, we can make it with bell peppers or chili peppers. Doesn't really matter. Bells or onions. I like mine with onions. So let's go with the head and do that. So we click again. Um, how many can we make here? Let's make four. Let's hang on to the steak though. Uh, we're going to put that into our ingredients bin here. We're going to make some more stuff for this later. But right now, let's have some chili. Boom. Nice. Actually, let's make a couple more. Uh, just because we can. Uh, sort by hunger. Uh, no, we don't want extreme chili, thanks. Regular chili is fine for us. I don't think my bowels would be able to handle extreme chili. All right, we're going to go this way. Cooking for blockheads needs to come out. we got to put it in here with this one. Um, and let's get our buckets in here. I think we're going to go out for a bit. I want to see what the status of everything outside is right now and how horrible things are going to be. Um, I don't think it's going to be too bad, but I think if we can start going for some more airdrops now, it's probably better to do it now than later because the mobs are going to get so much more ridiculous. Um, so I'm going to really scout this area. So we're going to take this guy on melee just to see how tough he is right now. Yeah, see, he's already starting to take a lot more hits here. That should give us seeds. Nice. Gold nugget. And I think we should be able to finish our uh, one quest now, too. Take that. Uh, so we're looking for airdrops. i got to stop doing stuff like this. Let's have a look at the map real quick. Uh, there should be one up over here. Huh. Maybe I'm wrong here. Did we pass it? There it is. Let's get that going. Go over here and kill this guy. Where are you? It was just one guy... We're going to go with swords. You know, he's in the cave. That's where he is. Oh, there you are. You coming up or what? 
Come on. Ah, he's just taking a nap. All right, we're going to do these one at a time. We're going to head over there, I think. I want to get to the open area when I'm doing this. I hate kind of being in a hilly area with like lots of grass and trees where you can't see the mobs approaching. Wait for this guy to drop. Actually, while we're waiting, doesn't matter what color sand you grab, but I want to grab a bit more sand. We're starting to run a little low in sand. Always make sure you're doing something. Okay, our drop's down. There's a little rat over here. Who cares? Uh, coal, nice. Yeah, we should get an animal farm going, but right now, until we can stabilize our front. Uh, this is what? Kidney beans? Uh, sure. Redstone, nice. So it's just a rat. Uh, let's drop our... Now we need that out more than anything. Let's keep this here. Um, as long as we don't drop our food in there, we should be fine. Okay, let's cross this river. What's up, guys? Oh, there's a wolf here. Doge. Still have a ton of this stuff now to make more boots if we lose our boots. Uh, should we leap across here? Here? There. That's better. Don't want to end up in the water. Kind of bad that way. There we go. Fish saw me. Alright, so let's have a look at the map here. Uh, what do we got here? Don't see anything in range. Looks like it's all down here. There's a few of them down here, so we're just going to head off into the savannah. I think we picked up a bunch here from before, which is why I'm not seeing any. It's pretty quiet out here today. There's one. No, nope, that's a freaking drone! And lag. It's a drone and lag and a drop. Okay, where's the other ones here? That's this one. There's two over there, so and one up here. One right by the tower, really? Hope it doesn't land on the roof. And do something while we're waiting. Really just need the wood, but I'm gonna grab it all because I don't think we're gonna fill our backpack up today. Let's get in a defensive position up here. Or some stuff in the backpack. Yeah, it's pretty quiet right now. I shouldn't jinx it though. I think the next thing we should make is firearms. Either that, we could make a diamond crossbow too. Because crossbow bolts are like really easy to make with our, um, with the sticks and the, um, with the sticks and the uh, stone heads that were, or stone that we're getting out of the uh, strainers, we should easily be able to just maintain that, no problem. I think one of these ended up on the roof. Probably did. I ain't going up there to get it. Yeah, it's right up there. Okay, midday. Should be able to grab a few more of these drops before we go home. Okay, let's have a look at the map here. There is one, two, three. So let's st start from the bottom up. One over here, somewhere. Uh, oh, there's a chest too. Target of opportunity. Yep, yep. Uh, sure, sure. Make some more toast. Let's have a look at the map. We should be pretty close to it, aren't we? It's more north. I'm gonna run out of time if we're not careful. Should just be right here somewhere. Right along with this guy. Here it is. One. And then another drone.
Getting a little better at killing those guys. What's this thing? No idea. Okay, two. Hope it didn't blow up the... Uh, there's the other one right there. At least they're close together. No, it didn't blow it up. Okay, good. Yeah, I hate the drone spawns. They're just so annoying. Oh, another chest. Blast protection. That's the other thing we want to do is get our enchanting table up and going. So we should keep an eye out for being able to do that. Put these in here. I'm going to leave the torch out. Okay, drop one. Gunpowder. Nice. Get these random lag spikes. I have no idea why. I'd like to think it's the server updating, but it's not because it'll tell you when it's updating. Okay, more bandages. We can make bandages. Uh, I don't need that. I'll take the airdrop. At some point our base will be big enough that we don't even have to worry about where the airdrops land because it'll just be landing right on our base. Okay, grab this one. For more iron. We don't really need that uh, cocoa because we've got so much of it right now. Got like 50 something cocoa. We're going to take it with us. Alright, well that one's full. Now let's have a look at the map here. Anything close by us? One more up over here. So that was actually a pretty fruitful run today. Should just be right up over here somewhere. Don't see it here. Ah, it's back this way. There it is. So let's do that. Let's see if we can grab some more of this obsidian while we're waiting. Making sure we always do stuff here. So, I mean, that guy got through the uh, walls pretty quickly. So if we can get like level 2 or 3 obsidian up and running, or uh, walls, then um, mining through will be really, really difficult for them. It's really the blast resistance that I'm looking, looking for. Oh my god, it's a doggy! It's my kid downstairs. Okay. Uh oh. Where the hell is it? There you are. They're like excited about something down there. Ah, oh, you're like delaying me from getting my stuff to guy. You saw how many times I was hitting that thing and it still got a hit, hit on me before I could hit it. I'm just terrible at this game, that's all it is. Okay, grabbing this and let's get home because damn. It's getting dark. Um, why are they still yelling down there? They're watching some show. And there's my kid. My other one saying, dude, shut the hell up. Oh, wow, it's Herobrine. What's up, buddy? You scared the hell out of me, dude. He's got a green name. Why has he got a green name? Okay, I killed him. But he didn't leave me anything. You're, it's a ripoff guy. Why didn't you leave me anything? Why you no leave me stuff? You don't love me? Alright, well. Can't have everything. Alright, that was a good run. Let's see what we got resource-wise here. Let's see what we got resource-wise. So we got iron and gold. Obsidian needs to go in here. We got 25 now. That's pretty good. 
Uh, some more drops which you can uh, break out. We don't need this. Uh, let's drop. Actually, you know what? I'll get this stuff sorted and we'll be right back. So there's the turrets firing outside. Somebody came close, got shot and killed. Ah, I just picked that up. All right, keep sorting. All right, so now we've got enough to turn in our sugar cane quest. So let's do that and get our sugar. And I think we should probably make a cabinet. Not the cabinet of Dr. Caligari, but a regular cabinet. Um, Uh, let's go kitchen sink cooking table counter that was what it was a counter so it's a chest and black hardened clay which is like hardened clay around black dye really so why not Let's get some hardened clay, because we definitely need hardened clay. Run a short and hardened clay. So we use it for so many other things. Actually, let's grind some of this up. Oh yeah, there's our some clay there. And we got some carbon dust. That was from uh, breaking up the uh, the pots that we've been getting in the uh, strainers. So that's that. We can put this in here. There's our hardened clay. Will it work around carbon dust? I wonder. Sure will. Black hardened clay, nice. So let's put our carbon dust in here. Put our regular clay in here. And now we just need chests, which we can easily make. Let's make two kitchen counters, because why not? All right. Gonna get some wood here, because we definitely need some wood. All right. Two chests it is, two counters it is. Now these supposedly um, will add on to the rest of the stuff. So if I put food in the cabinet, it should work. So let's grab uh, my quest book and let's knock off the Got two quests to do. I think the dog quest again came up. Yep, there's our sugar sugar cane quest, and we get this one. I'm gonna keep taking the utility quests. Um, all you gotta do is kill a dog every certain amount, and you get one of these guys, which is nice. So uh, I've been taking the utility ones because I haven't been getting those in airdrops or anything. So it's nice to kind of have those just in case we need them later on. Because the other ones become in airdrops, it's fine. All right, it's more dog food, because hooray. Uh, kitchen counters. Now, I wonder... Ah, uh, we've used this already. I wonder if I can just put them here. And if it'll work. So, let's put our sugar in here first. And let's see now if it, it does. Totally recognizes the sugar now. Okay, so we can do this. So, we can put these items here into this. Uh, sugar cane, we just want to convert. Uh, yeah, let's just convert it all to sugar. We can always get more later. Um, another word can go in here. Let's take this out now. I think I think having just general wheat in there will give us stuff as well. Not 100% sure. You know what, though? Let's go grind these up into seeds, though. Well, let's plant them, because I think we should probably... Um, probably be um, mass producing wheat at this point. Uh, oh, right, top. Er, oh, we got three seeds. Nice. We got a crit. Hooray! One, two, three. We got the room for it. Cool. Um, so we're almost done with the, with the uh, hemp. So we'll be able to get rid of that. Should really be checking in here first to make sure stuff fits in. And the steak can go in here now. Cool. So we should have a ton of stuff we can make Stuck pepper, regular stock. Yeah, we got lots of stuff here. Taffy. Water bottle, sugar, salt. 
It's too bad the water bottles take this. Like, they should stack. The other thing too is the water bottles actually use up a whole block of water. <laughs> Oh, they shot the shooting a fish. So the gun turrets are working. They're up there shooting stuff. Let's get this stuff done. Alright, so everything is growing so damn fast now. It's awesome. So we're not really going to have to worry about, like, picking food up for a little while here. We got so much of everything now. Okay, cool. I'm going to leave these in here in case we need more counters for later. Uh, what's this? Black dye. That's fine. Yeah, let's take this small storage crate out of here because we don't need it in here anymore. Just going to put it over here. Uh, let's just put it here. Well, where should we put it? Up here? Sure, why not? All right. So we got the turrets up and running today. That was good. Got the counters in. Um, what do we need to do? Most important thing. We got to start worrying about animal drops now. So let's see. I wanna, I'm interested to see... If they come down as um, a crate, or if they come down as a yeah, they're shooting at fish. Oh, don't go in the water! Not in the water! Not in the water! Not in the water! <sighs> See ya. Yep, not going for that one. Let's go get another one. Try and do them away from the water if you can. Sometimes the wind catches them and you're like screwed, right? Didn't look like it was a windy day. Let's go try another one. Because why not? I thought I was plenty far enough away. Are you kidding me? Not in the water, not in the water, not in the water, not in the water. There we go. Oh, really? See ya. I wonder, okay, next test. We're gonna see if we can get a, uh, I wanna see if I can get a, um, a crate transporter and see if we can bring the box back. All right, we didn't need the feather. We got some raw chicken anyway, let's see how that works. In here. I don't know if I put that in anything, but I'm not going to bother looking. All right, next next test. So let's grab this and run out of drops. If we can just bring the drop crate back, then we can move it. We're kind of like. This is kind of like a bad place to be like dropping stuff because we're like surrounded by water here. Don't go in the water again, really. Right in the friggin' water again. It's like they're just attracted to water. Right in the center. <sighs> Freaking story of my life, man. Going down. Oh, we're running out. How many do we have left? A couple. want to be up there. Another guy with a pickaxe. 
Should have lured them back for the turrets just to see how the turrets would grow on them. Oh, come on. Not that far away. Oh, it's a bloody witch. No, 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 no. Did it despawn? It despawned. Okay, good. Yeah, at some point we'll encounter a witch, but I don't want to be encountering it today. Oop, not too soon. All right, uh, let's hope this one works. All right, last chance. Heading right for the river. Because of course it is. Where else would it be heading for? Come on, land. Land, 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 land. On the land, please. Okay. It doesn't work. Well, I mean, I guess if we had a tether, there's like, I don't know, there's some, I thought there was some items that you could use to just like capture them into something. I'll have to figure out how to do that. There's got to be a way to be able to capture them and bring them back. Until that point in time, we can't have any, actually have any livestock. Uh, yeah, I was really hoping for that too. Would have been nice. Okay, well, well, can't do much about that. Yet. All right, so I know this was a quick episode, but we're going to end it here for today, I think. I'm going to get the strainers. I'm going to have to figure out what we're going to do with livestock and stuff. Uh, we'll get some more strainers in and running here. Um, and we'll figure out what, I don't know, what our livestock situation is going to be. I don't think we're actually going to have to actually have any, but that's fine. If we don't, we don't. Let's just do the same strainers we had last time. So we need five, we need seven. Um, if we don't, we don't, that's okay. I was really hoping for something though. It would have been nice to have a farm, but I guess it'd be less work without it. Okay, so one of these guys and two of these guys. The medium ones are okay, but we get barbed wire from the bigger ones, which is why I like them. Barbed wire and redstone, two of the things that we need. So, and chest mover we can put in here for now. All right, so we're going to end the episode here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I know it was short, but we did get our turrets up and running, which was a benefit. We got our underground cave problems sorted out. These guys still haven't grown at all, but they take forever, and you can't bone meal them because it just reverses the growth. Uh, but I'm going to look up online a way to uh, somehow get better livestock. Um, into play in the game because I don't know how else we're going to get a farm running if we want to get some food going but I don't think we really need it I mean chickens would be fine but if we can get a net that can grab them and bring them back that would be perfect because then we can get eggs from chickens I don't know where else we're going to get eggs from um, to do certain food but I don't think it really matters uh, like I said this game really isn't about um, supposedly being here forever it's supposed to be like at a certain point you leave the planet so but uh, yeah, so that's all done. Now we're going to start working on uh, this guy our quest book real quick. When we come back next time, we'll start working on the next level of quest. So we're going to get our sawmill up and running. Um, so let's go back here. We're going to get into automation. So we're going to get our sawmill up and running. Uh, it's going to require a few resources. I might actually do this off camera, and we'll just assemble it when we come when I'm uh, um, back on. And we'll probably put the sawmill on the roof. Um, I don't know if we'll put it down here. There's not a lot of room. I mean, I could put it right here, but it's not a lot of room down here. Plus. It's easy to run power upstairs, but and our wood's all up there, so uh, we'll probably do it upstairs. Um, uh, we may build up one level from here. I don't know. We'll have to decide if we want to go up a level rather than actually expanding outward. Um, if people are going to be digging through our walls, it just means that the more territory we got to cover, the more turrets we have to have, things like that. So we'll probably just build up, most likely. Um, yeah, and then we'll get that automation up, starting to go. Uh, we'll get at this point that we can get um, power capacitors to store power and stuff which will be great 
Um, new settlement. I was thinking about trying to do this. We could actually build a full settlement, but we're going to have to do a lot of work to do this. Uh, and then upgrades and blast off. But we have to get through automation first before we can do that. So we'll work on that next episode. All right. So until that time, uh, if you like the video, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And you can drop any comments or questions in the, in the uh, uh, comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.